So after a week of drama, a week of suspense, a week of a war of words, you found out this weekend what the real scoop is. What the real lowdown actually was. Corey Graves and Booker T worked the wrestling world. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! <laughs> well done, gentlemen. Well done. Whoopee doo! Perhaps the first indication everyone should have had that this might not have been completely legit or shoot was when Booker T threatened violence and still had a job with WWE. Perhaps, just saying. Found it interesting that they were pointing out that nobody ever actually bothered to reach out to them and find out if the heat was legit. That's kind of funny. Should be a lesson for everyone, I suppose. But it just comes down to this whole fundamental thing. This was stupid. Like, completely and totally stupid. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for the trolling part, the having a laugh at everybody's expense, having a kind of inside joke. But you would expect this type of crap, this type of lame-ass, no-payoff-having garbage from somebody like me and others battling back and forth in the YWC because we want to play wrestler. These are guys actually in the business, actually been wrestlers. And they're trying to play like YWC people. What the hell is going on here? How stupid is this? Why? For what purpose? For a gag? You couldn't even keep it up over a week. Just like a YWC personality. Holy fuck. What happened to you try to work people and you get heat and you build heat and you work them and you work them? And you actually have some type of payoff that potentially means you might make some damn money off of it. Gag aside, what a colossal waste of time. They might as well have just aired this on WWE television because so much of what airs on Raw and SmackDown is one gigantic waste of time. And that's exactly what the hell this was. It was one gigantic waste of time. And I promise you, Corey Graves and Booker T., you're not impressing anybody with a brain. You're not showing off. You're not doing any of that. You just look as lame as I do and other people like me. Because you're appealing to people that, I've, as I found out over the past week, legitimately believe that the WWE does not hold anybody back, does not sabotage anybody. You're talking about the same people that will believe a wrestler no matter what the fuck they say. It is not impressive. It is not awesome. It's just dumb. And it's a freaking waste of time. Like maybe if you guys, especially Corey Graves, put as much work into this as you did into your fucking commentary, maybe Raw wouldn't be so terrible every damn week. And then you got the smart ass fans talking about, Ooh, dee -dee 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 -dee. ah, shut the hell up. You're idiots too. Stop kissing their ass. They don't like you. They don't give a crap. They don't. So pretending to be on their side because you think it's going to score you freaking cool points, it will get you absolutely nothing. Promise you. Promise you. Like all of this just to get some attention on Booker's little damn podcast, whatever the fuck thing he does. Like, this is what professional wrestling's come down to. This is what professional wrestling is about. It's bullshit like this, where you waste people's time for a week, where they might actually be interested in this and intrigued in this, just so that way you can have a gag for the fuck all of it. Not actually try to make any money off of this. Not try to actually grow the WWE brand, Raw, or anything like that off of this. Just for a gag, just to fuck around with everybody and say, hoo, 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 look at how smart we are. Look at how much we outfoxed you. Yeah, you did it by acting like a bunch of YWC panty waste. Like, this is the freaking world we live in now. The fans try to be wrestlers, and the wrestlers are the fucking fans. The wrestlers are the goddamn marks now. 
They're marks for being in the business. They're marks for being on television. They're marks for being in WWE. And they're marks for thinking that they're better than other marks, even though they're still the biggest fucking marks in the world. Like, if you really honestly sit there and think about it, put a past and aside any allegiances you have to Corey Graves and or Booker T, just think about how fundamentally stupid this is. Because it is. Because that's what wrestling is now. Wrestling is stupid. And apparently people are okay with this. These guys just wasted a week of your time. Like, that's how sad and pathetic WWE's product is. This was the most interesting thing that people had going for WWE. And it was all a gag. It was all just to fuck off a week of everybody's time. Corey Graves, Booker T. Come on, man. Be better than this. Again, maybe you put this much effort and thought into doing your actual job. Maybe you would be better and more importantly, the product would most certainly be damn better for it. So yuck it up. Yuck, 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 yuck. But count me as one of those that is not impressed, one of those that thinks this is stupid, and appropriately, because it involves WWE people, yet another gigantic waste of everybody's damn time.